everybody. Francine here at Devoted Danes with Who's a Maggie Doo? She's the best girl. She is the best girl, Maggie Doo. We're having a snack. You know, she's down for a snack. It's a rainy day and she ain't feeling it. She didn't want to go out and play with her friends. <laughs> okay, we're having a little chip and dip. She'll even eat the chips plain. So, excuse me. So Maggie <coughs> was bred. She's the one that has not been able to, we have never been able to breed her. Sometimes things happen and you know, just for unseen reasons. So we got the pedestrian to try to track her. So we did this time, but I'm still not, you know, I'm gonna hold my breath and say it's gonna be 100% because nothing's 100% in the world. We all know that. Uh, Maggie's a good girl. Even, um, she's a great dog. Oh, did I say the D word? She's kind of an attention seeking individual. She's a hefty girl too, look at her. Wait till she hears those chips. Oh, gotta get one. You go big girl. So anyway, <laughs> I was gonna do one of the relaxing tests on her and <clears throat> you know, we shared chips. Thanks for that spitty kiss. Um, sorry. I was going to do that relaxing test on her and I did a little research. Um, so online, a lot of people said, don't do it until day 25. So she's not day 25. So, um, we're going to hold off on that. And that basically at day 25, sometimes I can see, uh, pups anyway, if she is pregnant, it would be great. If she's not, well, she's just one of our girls. Huh? Hey, big girl. She's so sweet though. We're hoping she is, but we won't know. So we still have another week till Maggie's about 30 days. Um, and then we'll be able to tell definitely with our ultrasound. But for now, you know, we don't know. So it is what it is. She's so cute. She's a really sweet girl. Um, she's Eva's puppy. Um, so the moment she was born, we knew we were going to keep her. Uh, also her like this her lips are white because we are having a little dip with our chips and she loves the dip too huh are you gonna sit like a good girl for this show people how you know how to sit of course you do yeah he's a silly girl maggie do <laughs> so yeah no results this week on the maggie do um has been like a lot of new life around the farm, even though it's not been puppies or anything like that. We've had our girls that are out in the coop. Let me take my glasses off while I see the glare. Our girls out in the coop have finally started hatching out their babies. We've had um, a goose, some chicken, a chicken, yes, Meg, and a duck hatched out. So I got a little footage of them. They're very protective of their babies. And as you guys know, we did have kittens born. Um, their eyes are open now, so it's gotta be almost two weeks. Um, and Peaches decided to move them down in the bottom part of the barn, the main level. So this barn is like an old farmhouse. We have a lower level, a middle level, and an upstairs to the barn. So she's in the normal level, like where you'd park, where we park her side by side. I have um, little beds out there for any of our cats that want to go to sleep out in the barn. Sylvester has one that he likes. So she took the one on the top and she had moved all her babies down there. So I happened to be going in the barn to get something and I saw her over there sleeping, which I thought was kind of funny. I've never seen her sleep in that bed. And then I look and I saw two little faces. Um, she was in the middle of bringing all her five babies down. So she's gotten a little better. She's letting us handle her a little bit. So I'm in hope. I'm hoping that keeps up even as her babies get older so I can get her spayed this time. As much as I love kittens, I, you know, uh, we normally spay and neuter our males and female cats. <laughs> so she will get, she'll get it too, but she seems to be making progress um, on liking us. I think it's the wet cat, cat food has something to do with it, um, but yeah. So I did get some good pictures of the kitties. Um, so there's that. And we have been working on getting our garden together and it's a rainy day today. 
Um, so not really too much, you know, just enjoying all the little hatchlings and all the little kittens and Maggie Nurin on my face. Yes, Maggie. So can you imagine? <laughs> so she's such a love bug. I think anybody that has one of Eva and Hurley's puppies realize how they are. They're so loving. Um, so yeah, Maggie's dad is Hurley and Eva's all retired. So I was hoping if Maggie would have babies one of these days because I'd love to keep a little girl from her. But, you know, sometimes it's not meant to be. We'll find out. Look at all your babies. They're so pretty. Would it be nice to me? She's been nice to me lately. I don't want to push my luck with her, though. So I have these set up, these, like, little cat things set up for, you know, whoever wants to sleep in the barn can. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. I'm hoping to win her trust, but look at those babies. She's got them all snuggled. There's a bug in there. There's five of them. Those are your kids, sweetheart. Yeah, so those are your babies. Yes, your sweet mama. So she took them out from underneath the floor. She brought them down here. She's still in the barn. But, um... She's doing good. She's, I think, maybe trusting us more because she's allowing me to get close to her. She's still, like, hesitant. You can tell by the look on her face. Like, what are you doing? But look at these little faces. This one kills me. <laughs> I don't know the sexes because I don't, dear. Hi. Get too close. Look at that little face. Looks like mom for sure. Yeah, I'm going to leave you alone. Yes, I'm going to leave you alone, sweet girl. They're so sweet. What are you doing? We know you're a boy. You want these girls to run you out? Because they will. Mr. Scovey. Hmm. Get going. That's a little baby right there. I'm afraid to touch her because she might actually bite me. And you can see there's another one. There's a little bit of movement in between those necks. Tiny little bit of yellow. That's another baby underneath there. So they're hatching out their own babies. What's up with you? Huh? Am I bothering you? Yeah. Looks like somebody else is already on the eggs and you're disrupting. Why don't you scoop? Come on, girl. Don't pick me. Okay, go ahead. Oh my gosh, you can see the little head. He said, hey mom. <laughs> so we still have, okay girl. We still have Raven, the turkey, Queenie. He's the only one that allows me to touch her. We have a duck here. Oh, she gets mad when I touch her. That's Gladys and another one, but she has another little baby on her. I have a feeling she'd bite me. She said, wait a minute. I'm trying, to I'm trying to cover up her kids. I'm trying to see that little one. Hey! Crazy! Hey! And this one is scooching eggs under her, so I have a feeling she's broody too. Look at her. Are you getting the eggs under you? I think you have too many there, Lady Jane. Oh yeah, pull your hair over to cover them. That will help. Hmm. Well, hello there. Are you new here? I don't think your mommy wants you out. <laughs> I don't think your mommy wants you out. Hmm. She's just coming out to see what's going on. If you can't leave, your mommy would be awful upset. Gotta get in there. Go see your mommy. <laughs> So they hatched that one. That's a baby goose gosling. And there's another one under her leg, but I don't think she's going to let us see it. So the, everything's starting to hatch. There's a little cute duck in here, too, somewhere. Oh, she said, you better get in here. He's trying to get underneath his mama. You getting under your other mama, the duck? 
I know you're not happy, but they have a chicken that's hatched, a baby black little black duck that Queenie had the duck under her earlier. Nope. Somebody else take the duck, Queenie. Look at that little baby. This one's sticking his little head out. It's underneath his mama. I wonder if that little guy wants a drink. Yeah, get a drink, little boy. Girl, whatever you are. All right, back to your mommy. Don't know where the other little ones are, but they're so sweet. I know you're giving me the stink eye. All ton of you. 